Have you ever just been chilling, flipping your phone around, and you realize that sometimes you get a really clean rotation with your phone when you flip it like this? And other times, when you flip your phone like this, it's a jumbled mess, no matter how hard you try to flip it perfectly. What's going on? Want to know why this is? Of course you do. Let's go. The Intermediate Axis Theorem, or the Tennis Racket Theorem, was first published in 1989 by these people. Anyways, the theorem states that any rigid body with three distinct moments of inertia, like this tennis racket, or your phone, will be unstable while rotating around the intermediate axis. We can test this theory by spinning the racket in all three moments of inertia. First we will spin it in its highest moment of inertia, or the long axis, and you can see that it's smooth, stable rotation. Next, we're going to spin it on a short axis, or the lowest moment of inertia, and again, it's a smooth, stable rotation. However, when we get to the intermediate axis of rotation, it's a very unstable rotation, and you can see it spinning on the short axis, as well as the intermediate axis. But why does this happen? Why is it like this? Why does this not like to spin around its intermediate axis? Let's go find out. In order to get a better understanding of how the intermediate axis works, we can look at Euler's equations. Now these are mathematical equations that describe rigid body dynamics and we can manipulate these in order to describe the intermediate axis, which is what I'm about to do right now. Alright, so I made two equations, one for the intermediate axis and one for the long axis. Basically, what the intermediate axis equation says is that we have the change in angular acceleration over time equals a negative value times um, the angular velocity. And basically what this means is that if we have an object rotating around its short axis, if there's a slight disturbance that would cause it to rotate along the intermediate axis, it's going to be opposed by this negative value, which would cause a deceleration along that axis. That's why when you have an object rotating around the short axis, very stable, very smooth, and it has a very stable rotation. Anyways, next equation is the long axis equation. And all you can see here, all that's different, is that we have a positive value here instead of a negative value over here. Basically what this means is that if you have an object rotating around the intermediate axis, there's nothing stopping a slight disturbance from causing the object to rotate along the long or short axes. That's why when we try and rotate an object around the intermediate axis, it becomes very unstable, and it'll rotate around one of the two axes. And those are the basics of the intermediate axis theorem, or the tennis racket theorem. Anyways, this theorem isn't just about flipping phones or tennis rackets. It works with any rectangular prism, and can be responsible for some really cool physics. Check this video out. Anyways guys, timer's about to hit three minutes. Hope you guys learned something. I'm out.